the Common Services platform from CDOT is being shown for the first time in Europe this week and I'm joined by Arindam Bhattacharya from the company. Arindam, we're very excited to see this in Europe. Tell us what the Common Services platform is all about. Uh, yeah, thank you. This Common Services platform, as you can see, is providing the common services, which is one I'm term compliant. We are showcasing over here the INCSC, that is Infrastructure Node CSE platform over here with these uh, common service functions. Now, along with these common service functions to showcase the strength of this platform, we are currently showcasing three applications over here. One of the application being Smart Living, the second one being the smart street light application and third one the carbon footprint monitoring application. So you can see it over here. So what does this mean for the end user? See the end user is going to get uh, more options and there will be interoperability so he, they, he will be having more choice. So over here also the the applications that we are showcasing over here, smart living, we are showing a temperature humidity application based on which the end user would be able to monitor the temperature humidity and based on the threshold, he will get a notification on his mobile through which he can turn on the air conditioner or the heater based on the temperature reading. The second application that we are showcasing over here is a smart street light in which street lights can be turned on and we are also showcasing a group management function over here through which we can turn on a group of street lights by using a single command, not one by one. The third application is a carbon footprint monitoring application, which is an already deployed application in the field. And we are doing it in a one m 2 m way, where we are monitoring the carbon footprint of a mobile tower. And how does this, how does Release 2 help that? How is Release 2 significant for you guys? See, Release 2 has started a new uh, concept called semantic interoperability. So that has just begun, but this is going to go further and it will be strengthened in release 3 as well. Alongside, we also have end-to-end -end security, which was earlier hop-by-hop -hop security in the release 1. So release 2 now has got end-to-end -end security. Now, we, with these features, and there are many more features right, in release 2, I mean, things will be far more strengthened. So what's going to be the impact on India of all this technology development? See, India is coming up with various uh, projects and various, uh, I mean, digitization uh, programs of Government of India. Now, all that will involve some of the m m applications. Now, having a common services platform and this uh, kind of a setup will enable uh, interoperability and the government would then be able to have a tap on all the resources through this common services platform which is called INCSE. So every application provider will hook onto this particular application. So thereby things would be far less chaotic, more organized, more orderly and the objective will be met. Thank you very much for talking to us. Right. Thank you very much.